Oh, welcome to, uh, well, you can see what it is. It's Newbie Farm. This is the latest version, version 4. And this is the one I'm doing the challenge on. Right, now the challenge is perfectly fun. Now, first thing I will say, oh, this should have went up yesterday. But I clean forgot and I couldn't figure it out at first why it kept breaking when I was returning stuff which was rented i.e. this fork, this fork arm then when I got in this tractor everything went haywire well, I think I got it sorted out, now you have to part them all because they're all connected together right now this map is now available on PCSG the link will be uh, in the description now I'm not going to show everything I'm going to do on this because this get, will get very boring very quickly for you because I'll take it down to the uh, bottom here to the lower level and we will do a little bit today and I will I will do an episode now and again I will carry on playing it off screen and just do um, when there's something exciting happen. No, on this one I don't expect anything exciting to happen at all right what we all we're going to be doing is looking after the cows which is feeding cleaning watering uh, picking up the eggs out of the chickens and cutting grass just making the si silage in here and from here the silage into here now first thing we're going to do is get rid of all the stuff that we that is rented for at least well not quite all I'm going to hang on uh, to one thing for a start but we will return this I'm keeping the tractor for a moment because I need that to take some equipment back to the uh, shop oh. so we get rid of all of this doesn't give us any money but it does uh, cut our running costs down eh? You'll see then we've got very little. There are certain things we are going to need. We are going to need a mower. We're not going to need a rake. Or a tedder. We're not going to need a bale trailer. Not yet anyway. Certainly not going to need a baler. A water tank we will need, but we will buy one. Alright, so we're hanging on to this. Why, you say? Well, quite simple. We will need that. Uh... For a start off to make enough T TMR to hopefully last us two years. Now the challenge I set myself is to try and make this lot work to keep it in business for two years. Now that's all I set myself. Now I'm keyboarding this because can't quite see the sense of putting this all on to uh, getting the wheel set up just for this at the moment. This is an excellent map, but in between times, I'm going to be doing another series on the same map. And that one will actually uh, be more a conventional Let's Play type thing. And I'll be using a lot a lot of mods. I'm using very few mods on here. In fact, I need to just get something on the back here to balance this out fairly soon. Um... We're going to take these back and sell these. We don't need them. <sighs> and I need to get the other tractor down. And that's where my problem started last time. Bring the other tractor down. As soon as I got into everything broke. And I'm hoping that isn't going to happen again. I'm going to get this on the road. And we'll take the whole lot down together. This tractor's going to get sold. Not quite powerful enough for what we want. I'm just going to check on here. Yeah, that's fine. that looks fine. Last time I had errors come at me ears there. Right, the mods I'm using is the DLCs. Um, I haven't got more activated, uh, but I've got all the DLCs. Yep. They're all available. The modern classics is available. I also added in. Black Sheep Modding's uh, Massey Pack, not for the tractors because they don't have front hydraulic links, which is a bit of a shame because I'd like to use those. But, but I'm going to use one of the tractors from the modern classics, and this is a little bit lower my ears. I think I know why. 
because I was watching a live stream last night. In fact, that was uh, Johnny V and playing at the same time. I um, I turned the uh, sound down. I'm just going to turn that back up again. The ears. Excuse me, one moment. That's better. Turned a bit. See, I'm not using any of the things I normally use. Uh, like, um, well, more realistic, which is on quite a few of my maps. Uh, manual attach was on quite a few. I'm just playing this very straight. We have got follow me on, and we've got course play on. And I'm not charging myself for using cosplay, but I am telling myself that I've been just set this up as a control F. Yep, got it. I have told myself that I mustn't do anything else whilst I'm using cosplay. I've got cosplay on for one very good reason. I'm going to come out of cab to do this because uh, it's a real pain trying to see over. The seed right at the front there. And we only own two fields, 11 and 16. The 16 is quite a large field. They're both grassed, which is good because that's all I'm going to grow on them is grass. Most of our money is going to come, hopefully, from the cows. Well, the only place our money's come cows and silage, and a little bit from the chickens and the eggs. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? No, don't answer that. I've been playing the slightly earlier version of this map, doing the same thing. Um, that's one of the beta ones, which Roy's very kindly, uh, kind enough to let me have, so I could like, do a little bit of testing and a little bit of playing. Uh, between you and me, and don't tell Roy this. I mainly play, and if I find a problem, okay, I'll report it. But uh, I haven't actually hardly gone off the farm itself. The Now, we'll get these lots sold up, put these in the sell point, which is in the same place as the on everything else in. Right, bro. And we'll just go back to this one, turn him off, follow me. And I'll sell this, these things in a moment. But first, I'm going to sell. One of the things I do like about this, you can do all this out, a lot of this outside, but the sell and the buy points are actually inside the shop. It's actually a good idea, I think. Uh, let's just get the right one. This is one. All right, we're going to sell that. Come out of the trigger. Uh, sell that. Now, this will mean that I won't have a track. Might be a slight handicap, of course. If you're trying to farm, now we've got to get the rest of them in that trigger. Now this would this would be quite a nice trade to have, but not that powerful. Now I'm looking for something was way over why northward of 100 break horse, 130 really by preference. I think another one to use, but we're going to return that first. It's gone. And come out of the trigger back into it. In. That's going to be a lot of this. Um, and I'm going to cheat a bit on the first bit. The first job we've got to do. Right. So we've got everything there. Now I will come over here and we'll have a look and see what our choices are. Right, what we definitely need, and we will need early on, is a water tanker. And the only choice we've got with a water tanker is one of these. But I'm not going to get it just yet. I'm going to wait until it actually needs water, then I'll come and get it. Everything is going to be left to the last moment. We will use a weeder. Because we can't afford to fertilise. 7,000 at cost to fill that little fertiliser up. It will probably do one, one season, that's it. We will need a front mower. Let's just check on the... Uh, 
These are no good because I need some that goes straight in front because I don't want a rake. Cost more money. So we want something which is 70 horsepower and at the same time we want to be towing a loading wagon. This would be nice but at 68 it's too expensive. So we're, the partnership will be the boy but again I'll get that when I need it. So you can see 70 and 60, 130 watts so tracked around 130 brake horse. With front loader capacity and uh, and a front linkage. Yeah. Now we did think about this. Nice tractor, I used this before, but even with the most powerful engine, it only just pushes north with a hundred and ten brake horse. Not really enough. And then we're getting you know not silly money, but that's getting a bit expensive now. So what we're gonna do is look at the modern classics pack. Here we are. Now in there there's this no front linkage. This is uh, no front, yeah, no front linkage. This one, no uh, front loader. But in the middle, at 55 version of the base, or 56 version of the base, is the case Maxim 5150. At the moment, I've got the attacher for the weight, but if we change it to front hydraulics, that adds another 6.5 version to it. But it's what we want, and it's 132 horse. So he's neat bob with the bigger engine. The bigger engine you've got to hundred and fifty horse. So that's getting a little bit silly, isn't it? So we go back to standard. I don't want anything fancy, so we just take the standard. We'll set up standard. Just a matter of looking yeah, you get narrow tires for it. So this is perfect for us. We're no longer sixty three thousand. Right. Come on, thank you. So we've got that. No, we we will want early on. Although I'm not, I'm going to cheat a bit on the next bit. I'm going to put the bales in the mixer by hand. No, it's a bit wide to try to get into these one comfortably. But I think another two uh, two and a half thousand pound for these wider ones. I think I'm going to force myself to get them in there. No, we do need that we're just going to keep the black save money early on we are going to need a universal buffer because we've got to clean the uh, our cows out and we also need a bail spoke well first job we've got why use the bail spoke and by the way on this map everything when you reset it resets here not onto the farm it's my it's been made to be difficult to play and, it's, and if anybody's not having that, blame me. I don't know what else do we want. We can take back this first time. Um, we could take the weeder back this first time because we will be using that early on. We might have to borrow a bit for that. But let's have a look, weeder. Yeah, we will. We'll have to borrow some. So oh. now we're using seasons on here. It makes it more. A little bit more difficult, which is why I'm using seasons. And you can see actually here, everything's grass. Every field has been grassed. Every field is is harvested. And by the way, there's no missions, so I can't even do those. No fertilisation on either of these. So, which is why I want to get the weeder. I'm going to explain exactly what I'm doing. Hopefully, with each step, why I'm doing it. And if you can think of anything better, let me know. Right, we're going to borrow another 5,000. As you can see, we're already 105 in there, and we're going to be a lot more on that before we're done. A lot more. Right now, we will buy the weeder, which is here. Got it. Right, we can take this lot back. This will this will give us a start. The weeder, so we can get at least one layer of fertilisation on the first cut of grass. As soon as we've got the TMR sorted, I'll be out uh, using the weeder. 
we will only get two levels of fertilization in the grass. One when we cut your automatics, you now get one level of fertilization. And we will have another one. As soon as we're cut, we will go over with the weeder. And that will give us our second level. And that will be it. We won't have a third layer. Can't afford them. the fertilizer. Now, this is the problem with these porks. I'm not quite level in there anyway, which doesn't help. But if you get level, they only just go in. Should go in a bit easier than they do, but I. Let's see if we can just get it on a bit further. We've got it. See, so you have to go for a quarter. Quite a lava. Now, which way is that face? It's alright. I will be doing a lot of cheating by coming in and out of cab. Now we get this lot back. Got it. I have got, you know, it's the uh, level indicator on here. It's one of the mods. But since I found it, it's almost a must have. It's the only way I can actually deal with a lot of the things. Because I'm not, I'm not the best driver in the world. And we've got this. So we will need to get a mower, a forage wagon. Um, what else do we need? A water tank. That's another must. And not too much else is a must at first. We have got a weight back at, on the farm. Well, that's the other mods I'll put in. I'll put SOB weights in, but I'm not using one of those. As <laughs> yet, I can't afford them. For emptying the BGA, I will be using course play. I have done that two or three times by hand already, and I don't want to do it again. Now, as soon as we've got the... Uh, all the TMR made up, all we can. We will be sending that back so we don't have to pay lease rates on the mixer. And the idea is to hopefully manage to last through until this, well, all this year and hopefully all next year. And then, if I'm still going by then, if I haven't gone bust, we will then swap over to sheep. We should. In theory, have most of the uh, debt paid off, so we should be able to move over to sheep, and we may even be able to think about doing one field, cultivating one field probably. Right, I'm just going to drop this in here. I can't kind of cab to do this because I should know my way on there. This is near enough what I have been doing now for the last couple of three weeks. Sit there. I'm going to take this up there with the forks on because I'm going to pretend I'm going to be using the forks. <laughs> yes, I'm a little pretender. We will be making use of any of the little um, bugettes in the game. Or as Microsoft call them, undocumented features and I'm going to hook up to this. And so I'm going to, I've got game extension on and I've got super strength set so I'm going to be putting the bales in by hand and that's all we're going to be doing on this one I don't even get that finished in this but if you could think of anything else remember that the, the amount of mods we've got are, are limited and turn off the engine whenever you're not using it because it costs money <laughs> You see, we already had to pay for this using the follow me. That's all that nine pound is down there. Now we can't afford to do that too often. I'm going to put in. Now we shouldn't want any high or silage for anything. What silage we want should I get from the T TMR? But we put two of those in there. We will put straw in because there's a binder. I might keep a couple of three hay bales just in case we go over onto sheep early for any reason.
I don't know. One straw in that. You don't have the straw in I think I missed it. Yes, I did. There's, ah, there you are. Slightly quicker than me doing it. Uh, using the track and we will just uh, pick this up. I'm going to take two loads down below and the rest I'm going to tip into these bins up, uh, in these barns up here. The two down below are for winter use so I won't be using those hopefully until the winter. I need two down below because the uh, seasons of course you get snow. Whoa. That's the first one mixed. Now we're running standard speed. I don't, this is hard enough as it is. I didn't until I started this. I didn't realise how hard this was to get out of, to get going. So I'm midway through the winter on the uh, on my other game, and on that, I'm trying to remember exactly how much I think we're just over a hundred thousand in debt. No, yeah, just over a hundred thousand in debt. No, I'm going to come out of care to back this in there. I'm just going to back these, just going to tip two or possibly three load in here. I'm not sure which side we've got this set to. I want it set to the outside of this really. Now it's fun and games sometimes getting this out if I don't if I forget to move it once we're doing it. What's the tip and this tip side left. Uh, whoops, ba, ba, ba. Oh, oh hold on a minute, I just one of the problems with twin screens of course is that it does uh, do things like that to you when you hit click on the wrong screen, bring, bring the wrong screen to focus that's left so I think we might change that to the right don't we, that's it I'll get rid of this again, I don't want that up I'll get, that's what I've been trying to get rid of, yeah that's right we face the right way, as soon as it starts heating up too much we just move forward a bit I'm not you can't really heat with using the mixer wagon for this. It doesn't work very well for that. Also, all the gateways, all the barns, it's very tight to get things in and out. And I would, I would recommend this map. So, not just because Roy's a buddy, a friend, but because it is a damn good map. But I wouldn't try and play it like this. <laughs> Not unless you're a bit of a masochist. I say it's my fault. I, I haven't been talk, be chatting to Roy, and I think it's after my last, uh, after my video on his uh, all his stuff he'd done in the past, and I happened to say that I thought that uh, I'm going to do two silage this time. No, I thought 15 was his hardest map. He took that as a personal challenge. And this is the result. And this is harder than 15. I played both. I tried both. And this is far harder. That's it. Put another one of those in. And put the straw bile on top. I don't want to use too much of the straw up, but I do want to make this go further which is what you're using the straw for it's to make the uh, the main part of the mix go a little bit further you I could quite easily get away with two of each but it wouldn't make anywhere near the same amount of TMR of course I, I think we're right at the moment we could We'll probably have enough of this. I, I'm not certain how many uh, lots I can make. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put you through 
what should we do all this? I'll be tip this one off. I think it'll be an episode. It'll be an opening. And when we, when I bring it back again, it'll be a couple of weeks. So that's how I'm going to do newbie. And this will be going on during the week uh, fairly soon. One of the other series is coming to an end. I'm just uh, figuring out the final parts of that, how to wrap up a lot of the loose ends. You know which one it is if you've been following them all. It's Old Ridge is. I'm finally going to put Old Ridge to, to sleep. Been a lovely map to play, lovely series to make, but I think the time has come. Hmm. We want to be in this side, really, don't we? Doesn't help having the forks on the front, of course. Ah. Can we get it in? Can we get it around? No. No, we're not just straighten this up a bit. And uh, we should, in theory, but get it in there. In theory. Not in fact, though. That's better. It looks straight now. I'm not, I'm not a very good driver. Um, I think we've got another load now. It should be enough to get us through at least one winter, possibly two. And we'll put that over to the other side. Yep, there it goes, and we've got that set to go that way. Keep an eye on that. As it starts to come up, we need to move forward. I think we'll get two more load in here, I think, and the rest will go up the top. But the other job I'm going to be doing on this first day, and I may record some of that, will be preparing the grass fields. Right, I'm going to take this back up there again. I don't want to keep this least vertical for too long because it is still costing us money. But I want to try and get the most use out of this right now. Now the detractor will want to be won't do a year between services, as you know or may not know, seasons makes you service your tractors and pod implements once a year or so many hours and we will be whoops we will be doing over the hours it's 30 let's just check for you it's 30 hours or 36 days to amount is required now we're running well press back to show the rest oh. oh should be six days let's cut that down to six Celsius and six days. When I go back in, it should now show Celsius. I hope no, it doesn't. It will show Celsius at some point. It will get round to it. Not probably when it updates. So six days. We've got two high in this one and one silage. I will want to save as a bit too, about two bales a, two or three bales a high. Now grass isn't too bad because I can get grass. Well, we've just got cows. I can take grass from the sheep matter for feeding the uh, cows with. Uh, when we get sheep, and uh, that will probably mean instead of cows for for the sort of second stage but we will be going back yeah, the idea is if I was to go on with this forever that you'd end up with cows with a lot of cows but we I did try it with just sheep uh, wasn't, wasn't getting enough of wool and wouldn't get enough of wool although wool is one of the best players now Silage doesn't pay like it did on 15. No, I'm certainly all aware of that. I'm just going to take this back down again. 
as you see I've got the mix and ratio mod on there it's just a I'll tell you what I am going to do I'm just going to drop those front forks off they are a hazard that's it right now I'm going to so that's my challenge now if you have any ideas and you're you're already seeing that the money is so tight that I can't afford to waste anything. I did think about doing it without TMR, but you get a gain so much from TMR that it's not worth it. You, yeah, so the coach just lose too much. No, we should better swing a bit back. I ain't got to worry about that at the front. He says, hopefully. Ah, uh, we can't. We'll just go straight back. I was hoping that. No, we can't even go straight back. Hold on. Now, this is. Me at my best. That's it, well, we're clear again now. Trouble is, everything's so tight here that it tests your driver out anyway. I did think about using this as more realistic, but the, then I saw, then I came to my senses. Uh, I think I'm one more load back here. Get on to the road one. Alright, now I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like this all, please consider a like. Remember that uh, Nearby Farm is now available on PCSG, the official site for it. Any que questions you have on uh, Nearby, any problems you have, Roy's pops in and out, and one or other of us will probably be able to help out. We do like to help. Alright, uh, if you're not a subscriber, how about subscribing? You know, I don't charge for it. Now, as you see, uh, straight ahead there, this is the sheep matter. There's a gate over that side. Oh, we've got another look at it. Okay, I'm keeping the engine on this time, which is naughty. The gate here, and actually, well, if we haven't got sheep, I can open that and leave that open. Just got to remember to close it when we get the sheep in there. And we could mull this, and I only mull this really for the uh, cow. Alright, uh, where were we? Oh yes, uh, sub subscribe, go on, go on, be a devil. Alright, that's, that's my bit of begging done. Um, any comments, questions, queries, or flaming good solutions to the problem I'll set myself out, feel free to post them. I won't laugh, well, unless that's one of Stu's ideas, but uh, then we all laugh at Stu's ideas. Lovely fella. Um, yeah, I don't want to do two silage this turn. I'm trying to do two and one, this is the fourth one here. And this is four low, this will get us most of the way through these, through to summer anyway. Um, not probably all the way through summer. If you keep hearing a burp, but that's the and the sound of a fan. I've got a fan on up here. All right, uh, yes. Questions, queries, and the rest of it. You know, feel free to post them in the comments section under this video. I do read everyone, believe it or not. I know, I know everybody makes videos and is on YouTube tells you that. In my case, it's certainly true, and it's true. Majority of the smaller YouTubers, the big boys, can't. If you have got ten thousand comments coming in, you can't read them all, and I wouldn't expect anybody to. Right, with that, it's me. I've been saying uh, as I uh, carry on doing this, a uh, cherry opener, cherry opener.